reconvening the committee for Friday, April 28th, uh, it is at, for the 130 agenda in conference room 016. Uh, first up, we've got HB 564, HD1, SD1, relating to the Department of Human Resources Development. Uh, for, for, on, for the House, we've got myself and Rep Garrett as co-chairs, Rep Alcos as a manager, and Rep Cabela as excuse. And for the Senate, we have uh, Moriwaki as chair, Kanuha as co-chair, and Favela as manager. And understand we do not have a uh, fin release yet, so why don't we roll this to uh, 4.30 today in room 309. Okay. okay. Next up, we've got HB 1087, HD2, SD2, relating to the wage and hour law. On behalf of the House, we have myself, Representative Garrett, uh, as co-chairs, Representatives Martinez and Alcos as members, and Representatives Tarnas and Capella are excused. So on the Senate side, Moriwaki is chair, Kim is co-chair, and Favela is manager. And I understand we also do not have thin release yet for this, so why don't we roll this one as well to 4.30 p.m. today in room 309. Okay. So shall we keep moving along on um, the 1.30 uh, reconvening of Senate Bill 435? We do have um, agreement, but we do not have release. So we will roll that over as well to 4.30 in room 309. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, oh, so there's the members, the members, the members are, if I go that? Oh, it's zero, zero, one, six? No, we're 309. 309, we're going to move everything yeah. to 430, yeah. Uh, for for the conferees, Maury Walking Chair, Rhodes, Co-Chair, Favela, Manager. Uh, yeah, on behalf of the House, we have myself, Representative Garrett, as Co-Chair, as Representative Alcos, as Manager, and Representative Tarnas is excused. Thank you. So that one. Thank you. Okay. The Senate, Senate Bill 1141, Senate Draft 2, House Draft 2 on workers' compensation for the library system, moving it to HRD. Uh, we have no release as yet. So, um, oh, the, the Senate conferees are Moriwaki Chair, Kidani Co Chair, Favela Manager. In the, we House. the House, we have myself and Representative Garrett as Co Chair, as Representative Alcos as a Manager, and Representatives Martin and Woodson are excused. So, no release. We are also moving this to 430, room 309. Today. Yes. And let's see, we have um, Senate Bill 726. Do you have, this is um, the administrative assistant, the, uh, the exempt position, deleting that. And uh, I think we have, Senate yeah, 13. we've got 1384. Oh, sorry. Second page. Second page. Oh. Oh. Relating to workforce development. Oh, sorry. Senate Bill 1384, relating, relating to workforce development. Uh, in the Senate, we have Senate uh, Chair Moriwaki, Gabbard, and Decoit as co-chairs, and Favela as manager. On behalf of the House, we have myself and Representative Garrett as co-chairs, Representative Alcos as the manager, and Representative Martinez is excused. Again, we have no uh, release, so we will roll this over to uh, 430, room 309. Today, yep. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, now so we want to... Yeah, adjourning this one, right? Oh, yeah. Adjourn the most radius. Yes. And readjourning. <laughs> oh, do we need a countdown? Nobody's there. Oh. No, let's just go. Okay. Um, so this is uh, SB 72. This is the 135 agenda. Oh, 130. 130. 135 agenda. 35 agenda. 106, or 016. April 28th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> April 28th, room uh, uh, 130 p.m. agenda, 135 p.m. agenda, conference room 016. This is Senate Bill 726 and Draft 1, House Draft 1, relating to human resources development um, administrative assistant position. Uh, on the Senate side, Moriwaki is chair, Kidani as co chair, Favela as manager. On behalf of the House, we have myself and Representative Garrett as co-chairs and Representative Alcos as a manager. Again, we have agreement, but no release. So we will roll this over to the same thing, 4.30 p.m., room 309. Today. Yep. Today. Okay. So I'm Gavin. Is that it? Do I have a second page? Yep. I think we can adjourn and we'll go up to vote <laughs> 145.
Good afternoon. We are convening the 1.45 p.m. agenda. It is Friday, April 28th, 2023 in conference room 016. We have all of our bargaining unit bills on the agenda today. First up, we have HB 1000, HD1, SD1, relating to public employment cost items. On behalf of the House, we have myself and Representative Garrett as co-chairs, Representative Alcos as a manager. And in the Senate, Maury Waki is chair, Keith Agaron, co-chair, and Pavela manager. Right. And Senator, I believe we have agreement. We will be adopting, we're, we will be adopting the government proposed uh, CD and inserting the constitutionally mandated general fund ceiling expenditure language. Correct. Okay, so with that recommendation, uh, we'll take the vote. Uh, Chair Matteo, should we all vote aye? Uh, Representative Garrett? Aye. Representative Alcos? Aye. Okay, may I take the vote for the Senate? Please. Uh, Chair Morawaki? Aye. Senator Keith Agron? Sure. Senator Pabella? Okay, we got a bill. Let's move on to HB 1001, HD1, SD1, relating to public employment cost items. Again, uh, for the House, we have Representatives Matayoshi and Garrett as co chairs, Representative Alcos as a manager. And the Senate, Mori Waki as chair, Keith Agaran as co chair, Favel as manager. Thank you. And I believe the same thing. We've got agreement that we are going to be moving to adopt the governor's proposed CD and inserting the constitutionally mandated general fund ceiling expenditure language. <coughs> All right. So I'll be taking the vote. Uh, I'll vote aye. Rep. Garrett? Aye. Rep. Alcos? Aye. Okay, may I take the vote for the Senate? Please. Yeah, Senator Marwaki? Aye. Senator Keith Algaron? Sure. Senator Pavella? Aye. Okay. We've got a bill. Moving on to HB 1004, HD1, SD1, relating to public employment cost items. Again, uh, moving to adopt the governor's proposed CD, inserting the constitutionally mandated general fund ceiling expenditure language. On uh, behalf of the House, we've got myself and Representative Garrett as co-chairs, Representatives Keela and Alcos as managers. And on the Senate, uh, Maury Waki as chair, Keith Algaron as co-chair, Favela as manager. Okay, so uh, we're ready to adopt the CD, if it's okay with you. Yes, please. All right, uh, I will be voting aye. Rep. Garrett? Aye. Rep. Gila? Aye. Rep. Alcos? Aye. And take the vote for the Senate. Yes. Okay, Rep. Morawaki. Oh, Senator, Senator Morawaki. Aye. Senator Keith Agaron? Sure. Senator Favela? Aye. Okay, got that bill. Moving on to, there are two more on the agenda. HB 1006, HD1, SD1, again, relating to public employment cost items. We'll again be moving to adopt the, I'm sorry. On behalf of the House, we've got myself and Representative Garrett as co-chairs, Representative Alcos as manager. And for uh, the Senate, uh, Maury Waki as chair, Keith Agaron as co-chair, Favela as manager. Okay, and I think again, we are in agreement to moving okay. to adopt the governor's proposed CD and inserting the constitutionally mandated general fund ceiling expenditure language. All right, I'll commence with a vote. Myself voting aye. Rep Garrett. Aye. Rep Alcos. Aye. I take the vote for the Senate. Mm -hmm. Senator Moriwaki. Aye. Senator Keith Agaron. Sure. Senator Favela. Aye. Adopted. Uh, last item on the agenda, HB 1010, HD1, SD1, relating to public employment cost items. On behalf of the House, we have myself and Representative Garrett as co-chairs and Representative Alcos as a manager. And the Senate, Moriwaki as chair, Keith Agaron as co-chair, Favela as manager. And again, we'll be moving to, we're in agreement to move to adopt the governor's proposed CD uh, and inserting the constitutionally mandated general fund ceiling, ceiling expenditure uh, language. Okay, I'll be taking the vote. Uh, myself voting aye. Rep. Garrett? Aye. Rep. Alcos? Aye. May I take a vote for the Senate? Yes. Senator Marwaki? Aye. Senator Keith Agaron? Sure. Senator Favela? Aye. Okay, that's it. We got bills. Okay. We are adjourned. Okay. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We are reconvening our conference committee meeting. Today is Friday, April 28, 2023. It's 2 p.m. roughly. And we're in room one, we're in room 016, also known as the walk-in freezer. Yeah. Um, first up, we have HB 4451 HD1, SD1, relating to incarcerated individuals. We have Money release on this one. However, we need the memo to for the exact amounts. 
So I would re recommend we move this to 430 in room 309. Sounds great. Okay, next up we have HB 1131 HD1 SD2 relating to gender parity. We don't have money release on this one. I recommend we move this one too to room four, room 309 at 430. I will be there. Okay, sounds good. Next up we have HB 1132 HD1 SD1 relating to Hawaiian correctional, relating to the Hawaii correctional system. Well, relating to the commission. Um, this one too, we don't have money release on our side. You don't have ways and means on yours, right? Do not. Yeah, so we're waiting for the memo on that one. We'll move this one to at 4.30 in room 309. Okay, next up, I yield the mic to you. On Senate Bill 710 SD1 HD1 relating to incarcerated women. Um, we have worked out all of our language here. And just for the public to understand what we're planning to do with 710, um, we're going to appropriate monies for an educational re-entry program for incarcerated women. The, we have uh, conferred an agreement on amendments for our CD, um, intent to appropriate $225,000, uh, which has been, actually, I'm sorry, that money has been included in the state budget. We're going to work on language to ensure that that money, although it's right now uh, going to be expended by PSD, that they will have that money uh, go from PSD to be utilized by the University of Hawaii to put together this program. So that's the intention and we'll hopefully get the money chairs to agree and hopefully pass this out at 4.30 in room 309 this afternoon. Okay. On the next measure, Senate Bill 710 SD1 HD1 relating to corrections. Well, I forgot to introduce. No, that's members. all right. You can keep going. No need? Yeah. Uh, for 712, we are, I believe, ready to vote this measure out. Um, this bill, for the public's understanding, uh, appropriates money for trauma informed certification program at Windward Community College for adult correction officers. Um, because the money of uh, $100,000 has already been put into the budget and given to public safety. This bill will zero that figure out uh, and make it clear that we want public safety to be collaborating with the University of Hawaii to carry out this program. And we do have with Ram and Finn release. So if you don't mind, if we could- We take don't it. have, oh. sorry, Chair, we don't have quorum on our side. Oh. oh. Maybe we still don't. We need one more person. We okay. need either Morikawa or Souza to come. Oh, wait, can we? No, we need one more. One, I, two, I, three. I think it's three. You got three. You got three out of five. Okay, do we need the majority of the members? Majority of the chairs, majority of members. Yeah, we need one more. Three out of five is the majority. Camera more than people. Morikawa. Morikawa. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're, we're trying to reach where you want. Oh, no, sorry, I'm sorry. What bill are you on? Yeah, same as Okay, do you want to just um, oh, talk about this? Okay, go ahead. We'll talk really slow about the last <laughs> bill. <laughs> SB 1163 SD1 HD1 related to Civil Air Patrol. On behalf of the Senate, myself as Chair, Keith Agarati, Co Chair, Elefante's Amendment. Okay, on the House side, we have my, myself, Mark Hashem, and then we have Corey, Representative Corey Chun. As co-chairs, we have Representative Ichiyama, and Souza is not present. Do we have quorum on this? Okay. Okay, so just to briefly describe what this measure is about, uh, SB 1163 SD1 HD1 is related to the Civil Air Patrol that appropriates funds for civilian auxiliary and aviation services and have agreed, agreed to include $150,000 with a clean effective date for this measure. Do you concur? I agree. And you twisted okay. my arm. Okay. I take the Senate position. Okay. <laughs> Wheels up on this one. Um, on behalf of the Senate, I vote yes. Oh, oh wait, wait, what am I saying? Yeah. We need to keep Agarang. Yeah, apologize. Coming back after. Oh, do you want to go back to 712? Yes, okay, we're going to bounce back to 712. Thank you, Representative Kanani Suzer, for being here. 
Um, again, this is uh, for relating to corrections and uh, taking the vote on behalf of the Senate. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, do we? we will just uh, recess until, until, until oh. five o'clock. Five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to recess. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. We are reconvening our conference committee on two measures that we can vote on. Uh, the first is Senate Bill 712 SD1, SD2, HD1 relating to corrections. The two chairs have conferred and believe we have both Wham and Finn approval. So we'd like to take the vote. Is that okay with you? Yes, please. And for the House side too, please. I'm sorry? And for the House side too. Okay, fantastic. Um, I vote yes. Senator Kim is excused. Senator Mori Walker. Aye. Senator Elefante. Aye. On behalf of the House, uh, Chair Hashim. Aye. Co Chair Chan. Aye. Member Ichiyama. Aye. Member Morikawa. Aye. And Member Sousa. Aye. Great. Thank you. We have the bill. Hey. <laughs> and if you don't mind, we're going to move on to the next item on our agenda. That is Senate Bill 1163, SD1, HD1, relating to the Civil Air Patrol. Thank you, Senator Moya. Um, the chairs have conferred and have a bill for this aviation services with a $150,000 appropriation and a nice clean date. Do you concur? Yes. CD1 passed over? Okay. So on behalf of the Senate, myself, I vote yes. Keith Agara? Yes. Senator Elefante? Aye. May I take the vote on behalf of the House? Yes, please. Co-Chair Hashem? Aye. Co-Chair Chan? Aye. Member Chiyama? Aye. Member Sousa? Aye. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Chair. Wait, Wait. Um, I, I tend to bend. No, I keep the So do you want to come back here for a bit? Well, I mean, if you stand up better, right? For me not to in the middle of it. Because I, I don't read it. Can we reset? <laughs> yeah, we'll recess. we we'll recess IT. On um, HB 694, HD1, SD1, uh, relating to CTAR and Aquaculture Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. Um, we have agreement, but we don't have release. And I am assuming that's the same for. I should make a $100,000 release from Wayne. Okay, so we are still waiting for release. Okay. Um, I'd like to roll over until 4 30 in room 309. Oh. Because that will be, um, that's what we've been asked to do um, for all bills from here on out, according okay. to this joint memo. Okay. Are you agreeable to that? Um, yes. Okay. So, 430, 309. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Adjourned. Mm -hmm. Law and trying to order reconvening the Friday 2.30 p.m. April 28th um, agenda here in room 16. We we'll start off with the Senate bills first. SB 1552, SB 2, HD1 relating to invasive species, so why not that? In the Senate, the average chair, Aquino, co-chair, Decoit, and Senator. 
And for the house, we have Gates Kahaloa as co-chairs, Lechika and Ward as managers. Okay, Chair, I understand we have a uh, clear from WAB and also approved from Ben for $500,000, is that correct? Correct. So, uh, we're ready to vote. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so we can move. Uh, go ahead and take the vote. It is okay. Senate. Chair votes aye. Senator Aquino. Aye. Senator DeCoy. Excuse. Take the vote for the House. Yes. Uh, Co chair Gates. Aye. Co chair Kahaloa. Aye. Rep Chica. Excuse. And uh, Rep Ward. Aye. Okay, we have a bill. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> okay, moving on to SB 1588 SD2 HD2 uh, relating to food safety of the fruit gap and UHN CTAR certification training for the Senate Gabbard's chair, Aquino's co chair, Richardson's manager. And for the House, we have Gates and Kahaloa as co chairs, Capella, Lachica, Ward as managers. Okay, thank you, Chair. My understanding is we have a million dollars approved from WAM and FIN. And if that's okay with you, we're ready to vote. Okay. 1588. Okay, so the recommendation we do from the House and Senate managers to pass with amendments. So, Chair Gabbard votes aye. Co Chair Aquino. Aye. Manager Richards. Aye. And Co Chair Gates. Aye. Co Chair Kahaloa. Aye. Rep Capella. Excuse. Uh, Rep Lachica. And Rep Ward. Aye. Okay, we have a bill, Chair. Okay. We're moving on to SB 430. Okay. SB 430 relating to the Hawaiian Farm to Food Bank program for the Senate, the Gabbard's chair, Aquino's co chair, Richard is manager. For the House, we have Gates and Kahaloa as co chairs, Cochran Ward as managers. Okay. Um, I've not heard back on this one. I don't think we have parents either. Is that correct? That's correct. So if it's okay with you, we could roll this to uh, 430 and then 309. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Moving on to SB 652. <clears throat> Yes. Related to invasive species, the line spittle bug, and feral chickens and pigs. Pilot program for the Senate Gabbard's chair, Kim as co chair, Richards as manager. For the House, we have Gates, Kahaloa as co chairs, Chun and Ward as managers. Okay, and again, we don't have clearance yet from the money committees on this, so we could roll this to 430 and 309, please. That works for me. Okay. And then moving on to uh, SB743. <clears throat> SD1, HD1, uh, relating to coffee pest control, coffee berry borer, coffee leaf rust. The Senate, uh, myself as chair, Aquino as co chair, Richard as manager. For the House, we have Gates, Kahaloa as co chairs, Cochran, Morikawa, and Ward as managers. And my understanding is we have release from WAM and FIM for seven, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> for $150,000. That's correct. Okay, so if it's okay with you, we'll vote on this one. Okay.
Okay, will the Senate is to pass this with amendments this measure? Or Gabbard votes aye. Senator Aquino? Aye. Here. Senator Richards? Aye. And for the House, uh, Co Chair Gates? Aye. Co Chair Kahaloa? Aye. Rep Cochran? Aye. Rep Norikawa? Aye. And Rep Ward? Aye. So we have a bill. Okay. 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 okay, okay. And then we're moving on to SB 782, SB 2, HD 1, the women's farmers. Um, for the Senate, for himself as chair, Akina as co chair, and Decoy as manager. For the House, we have Gates and Kila as co chairs, Kahaloa, Poi Poi, and Ward as managers. Okay, Chair, I see um, we don't have money clearance on this one, so if we could roll this as well to 4.30 p.m. in room 309. Okay, sounds good. And then, uh, let's see. Moving on to... Uh, next uh, two, part of the 230 agenda is SB 744 SD1 HD1 uh, relating to invasive species council for the Senate. Uh, Gavin is chair, Aquino is co chair, and Decoit as manager. What bill is this, Senator? 744. 744. 230. Thank you. Uh, for the House, we have Gates, Kahaloa uh, as co chairs, Cochran, Morikawa, and Ward as managers. Okay. Um, so far, no money clearance on this. And so we will uh, roll this one to 430 and then 369. Okay. And yet another. Here 1488 SB 1488. Okay, and this SD2 HD3 relates to livestock, um, beef cattle inter island ocean transportation study for the Senate. Gabbard is chair, Kim and Aquino is co chairs, and Richard is manager. For the House, we have Gates and Peruso and Kahaloa as co chairs, Holt and Ward as managers. Okay, Chair, and we don't have clearance yet, so we'll also roll this to 4.30 p.m. in room 309. Then we also have, moving on to SB 86. Let's see. 86. SD1, HD1, uh, related to food sustainability and the state ag functional plan for the Senate. We have his chair and Brian and Stephen as co-chairs and Richards as manager. For the House, we have Gates, Kahalo as co-chairs, Maury Kawa and Ward as managers. No money clearance yet, so we roll this to 309 at 4.30 p.m. Okay. Okay. Then. I move to the House bills, starting off with the HB 306. That's correct. Okay. So HB 306 relating to ornamental ginger. For the House, we have Gates, Lamasal as co-chairs, Alcos as manager. And for the Senate, Gavin is chair, Kim and Kim as co-chairs, and Richards as manager. It seems that we have uh, fin approval and WAM approval on this measure. We certainly do. For 125 for fiscal year 24? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to vote. If good. you don't mind, I'll take the vote for the Senate. Fine. Okay, we'll start off with the House. Chair votes aye. Lamasal? Aye. Alcos? Aye. Thank you. And then for the Senate, Senator Gabbert? Aye. Senator Kim? Excused. Senator Aquino? Aye. Senator Richards? Aye. All right, we have a bill. Aye.
Okay, moving on to the next item, HB 307, HD1, SD1, relating to agricultural park leases. Uh, for the house, we have Gates, Ichiyama, Nakashima, Kahaloa as co-chairs, Hussey Burdick, and Ward as managers. And for the Senate, uh, Gavin was chair, Keeling as co-chair, and Rudy Hockey Pan. Okay, I think we have fin approval on this measure. We're ready to move it out. <laughs> on 307, right? On 307, correct. We don't have. Um, you don't have lime approval? Not yet. Oh, okay. We will roll this over to the 430 agenda then. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. In room 309. In room 309? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Moving on to our next measure, HB 971, HD2, SD1, relating to agricultural loans. For the house, we have Gates, Kahaloa as co-chairs, Cochran, and Ward as managers. And for the Senate, uh, Gabbard is chair, Akina is co-chair, and Richard is manager. Okay. I don't think we have WAM or FIN approval on this. So we can roll this over to 4.30 p.m. today in room 309. Sounds good. Okay. Moving on to our next measure, HB 972, HD1, SD1, relating to the Animal Industry Special Fund. For the house, we have Gates and Kahaloa as co-chairs, Cochran and Ward as managers. And for the Senate, Gabbard is chair, Aquino is co-chair, and Richard is manager. Okay, I don't think we have been approval on this. Do you have WAM approval? No, we don't yet. Sure. We do have. Okay. Okay, we can. We don't have been on our side. Okay. Thank you. So we roll this over to 430 today in room 309. Sounds good. Okay. We'll move on to our next measure, HB 1149 HD2 SD1, relating to the coconut rhinoceros beetle program. For the house, we have Gates and Kahaloa as co-chairs, Cochran, Martin, and Ward as managers. And for the Senate, Gabbard is chair, Aquino is co-chair, and Richard is manager. Okay, I don't think we have been approval on this. So we'll roll this over to 4.30 p.m. in room 309 for today. Okay. Okay. Moving on to our last item on the agenda, HB 1248, HD1, SD1, related to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program Incentives. For the House, we have Gates and Kahaloa as co-chairs, Cochran, Peruso, and Ward as managers. And for the Senate, Gabbard is chair, Akina is co-chair, and Richard is manager. Okay, I think we're just awaiting fin approval on our end. Um, do you have approval? No. Okay, we're gonna roll this over to 4.30 p.m. in room 309 today. Sounds good. Okay. We have another house agenda. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, yep, go ahead. Which is that? Okay. 235. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, but I did. So you want to gavel out the. Okay. Yeah. Recess. Recess. Yes, yeah. Hello, Mike Akko, and welcome to the 235 agenda. We're going to start off with uh, a two, Friday, April 28th, here in room two, excuse me, here in room 16. It's now 249. Uh, first item is SB 1417 SD1 HD1, relating to climate change and sea level rise for the Senate Gabbard as chair, Inouye and Aquino as co chairs, and Decoy as manager. Gabbard, I think that's sufficient. We've opened on it, so we can recess. Oh, okay. And I believe we have a 240 with Chair Moen that we've 
<laughs> we have a two two forty two forty one, so if we can open in recess and then you can get back to your one with. Uh, oh, security. okay, great, great. Yeah, so we'll open this and that, we'll recess, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll recess now. Thank Okay, opening up, uh, reconvening on the 240 agenda, room two, room 016, April 28th. Uh, we have uh, just recess. Think just recess. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just go ahead and recess this measure right now. And then one more. Okay, we are convening the April 28th, 241 p.m. agenda in conference room 016 to open on this and then we will recess and come back. <laughs> Opening on our 2.30 p.m. agenda for conference committee in room 016. The time is 2.52. And we'll start off with our first. We're good. Senator, if you don't mind, we have members who need to leave that need to take the vote now. And we're going to take this agenda out of order if we can vote on HB 1382. And HB 1359 first. Okay. Okay. Do you have one approval on your end? Which one? Which one? 1382 and 1359. 1382 first, yes. Okay. So we're gonna take the agenda out of order. We're gonna uh hear up HB 1382 HD2 SD1 relating to meat donations for the house. We have Gates, Nakashima, Kitagawa as co-chairs and ward as manager. And for the Senate, Gavin is chair, Aquino is co-chair, and Richard is manager. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to vote on this. Uh, we have uh, $50,000 for fiscal year 24. Correct. Okay. So if you don't mind, I will take the vote Please. for the House and the Senate. Chair votes aye. Nakashima? Okay. Kitagawa? Aye. Ward? Aye. For the Senate? Gabbard? Aye. Aquino? Aye. Richards? Aye. All right, we have a bill. Thank you. Okay. And then we're going to uh, vote on HB 1359, HD 2, SD 2 relating to hemp. For the House, we have Gates, Bilotti, Nakashima, Morikawa as co-chairs, Ward as managers. And for the Senate, um, the average chair, Pio Hokolole, and Kino and Rhodes as co-chairs. Okay. Uh, for our side, Finn has given us a $100,000 approval for fiscal year 24. Um, Yes, same as same plan. Okay. All right, so we will go ahead and take the vote for the House. Chair votes aye. Rep. Bilotti. Excused. Rep. Nakashima. Yes. Rep. Morikawa. Rep. Ward. For the Senate, Senator Gabbard? Aye. Senator Kale Palole? Aye. Senator Aquino? Aye. Senator Rhodes? Excuse, we have a bill. 
Okay. Uh, we will now uh, reach. Uh, we're just going to run through it real quick. Yeah. So, um, Senator, we're going to start off at the top of the agenda, HB 308, HD 1, SD 2. I believe uh, for the House, we have Representative Gates, Kahaloa as co-chairs, Poi Poi Ward as manager. And for Senate, uh, Gabbard as chair, Aquino as co-chair, Richard as manager. Okay. Uh, I think we're still working on the CD1 for this. Uh, if you want to roll this over to 430 today, in room 309. Sounds good. Okay. Moving on to our next item, HB 606, HD1, SD1, relating to meat processing. For the House, we have Gates, Lamasal as co chairs, Cochran, and Ward as managers. The Senate, Gavin as chair, Aquino as co chair, Richards as manager. Okay. I don't think we have FIN approval. You want to roll this over to 430 today in room 309? Okay. Okay. Moving on to our next agenda item. Uh, we have HB 609, HD 2, SD 1, relating to agriculture for the House. We have Gates and Lamasal as co-chairs, Kahaloa and Ward as manager. For the Senate, uh, Gabbard as chair, Aquino as co-chair, Richard as manager. Okay, I believe we are still waiting FIN approval on our end. So if you don't mind us rolling this over to 309 uh, today at 4.30. Yeah. Okay, Sounds good. sounds good. Moving on to our next agenda item. HB 610, HD 2, SD 1, related to taxation. For the House, we have Gates, Yamashita as co-chairs, Ward as manager. And for the Senate, Gabbard as chair, Aquino as co-chair, Rhodes as manager. Okay, I don't think we have been approval on our end. If we can roll this over to 4.30 p.m. today and we'll do now. Sounds good. Okay, moving on to our next item, HB 612, HD 2, SD 2, relating to taxation. For the House, we have Gates, Yamashita as co-chairs, Kahaloa, La Chica, and Ward as managers. So the Senate Gabbard as chair, Aquino as co-chair, and Rhodes as manager. Uh, we also don't have FIN approval on this, so can we roll this over to 430 in room 309 today? Yes. Okay, thank you. Moving on to HB 974, HD1, SD1 related to agriculture. We have Gates, Kahalo as co-chairs, Cochran, Poi Poi, and Ward as manager. And for the Senate Gabbard as chair, Aquino as co-chair, Richard as manager. Okay, uh, same thing, we don't have FIN approval. Can we roll this over to 4.30 p.m. in room 309? Sounds good. Okay. And that will will recess for our last, uh, we'll let ECB open up. So recess. Forty-five agenda here in room three twenty-five, uh, House Bill six hundred seven relating to taxation on behalf of the House. Myself and Yamashita co-chairs Kong Lamusa Onishi Pirik as members. The Senate Gabbard is chair, Aquino as co-chair, Rhodes as manager. And uh, no agreement yet on this. Going to meet upstairs three hundred nine at four thirty. That's good. Thank you. We're adjourned. Thank you. Our conference committee meeting today is Friday, April 28th. The time is three o'clock uh, and we are in conference room 016. We have one agenda item, HB 690, HD 1, SD 2, relating to agriculture. For the House, we have Gates, Holt, Kahalo as co-chairs, Ward as manager. For the Senate, Gabbard as chair, Aquino as co-chair, Richard as manager. Okay, we don't have been approval on our end, so if we can roll this over to 4.30 p.m. today in room 309. Sounds good. Okay, we will recess.
Okay, coming back uh, from recess to uh, the 235 agenda here in room 16, Friday, April 28th. Um, back to SB 1417, SD1, HD1. Um, for the Senate, the average chair, Noya Aquino's co chairs, and the quotas manager. Thank you. On behalf of the House, it's myself, Tarnas, Poi Poi co chairs, and manager Souza. Okay, sure. We do have WAM approval on this. I don't know about you guys. We also have finance approval, but I think we are not, we don't have quorum. Oh, okay. May we move this to the end of the 235 agenda? Sure, that sounds good. Okay, thank you. And then the next bill up is House Bill 995, House Draft 2, Senate Draft 1, relating to important agricultural lands. For the House, it's myself, Tarnas Yamashita as co-chairs, Poi Poi Souza as managers. For the Senate, the Gabbard is chair, Inouye and Kim as co-chair, and Richard as manager. So on this one, I, I think we have agreement, Senator, on the proposed conference draft one, um, and we're just waiting for finance relief. May we move this one to 4.30 in room 309 today? Sounds good. Okay, thank you. And the next one is SB 419, SD1, HD1. Uh, carbon sequestration for the Senate, Gabbard as chair, Inouye and Wakai as co-chairs, and Decoit as manager. Uh, for the House, uh, myself as chair, Kitagawa as co-chair, Cochran and board managers. Okay, so we do not have uh, money approvals yet on this. If we could move this to 4.30 p.m. today, room 309, is that yes. right? Yes, yes. Great, thank you. So that concludes the well, Senator Gabbard. Right. I think maybe we just made, but might want to enroll the SB 1417 to 430 and 309. Because oh. I think the Senate is also missing quorum. Oh, okay, that's correct. Your WAM designee. So or, yeah, we'll uh, move SB 1417, SD1 HD, 430, room 430, room 309. 309. Okay, and that'll adjourn the 235. Bye. Okay, aloha, and we are reconvening on conference committee on Friday, April 28th. It is now 3.04 p.m. in room 16. One item on the agenda, SP 504 SD1 HD3, relating to PFAS and environmental protection for the Senate, Gabbard as chair, Phil Hukalole as co-chair, and Richard as manager. On behalf of the House, myself and co-chair Sayama and Yamashita, Managers Cochran and Ward. Okay. Um, chair, no uh, release yet. So if it's okay, we'll roll this to uh, 4 30 p.m. in room 309. Yes. Okay. And that concludes the agenda. Uh, conference committee starting uh, Friday, April 28th, room 16 to 41 p.m. And starting with House Bill 197 relating to climate mitigation. I think we're still waiting on Finn and Wham. So is it okay if we roll this to 4.30 p.m. in room 309? Yes. And um, next up, House Bill 837 relating to the state plan. Uh, same on this one. Can we move this to... Uh, oh, sorry. On behalf of the House, we have myself, uh, Co-Chair Kitagawa, <clears throat> Managers Cochran, Martin, and Ward. For the Senate, Gabbard is Chair, Inouye Aquino is Co-Chair, Richard is Manager. And we're also still waiting for uh, Finance and WAM on this one. Is it okay if we move it to 4.30 p.m. in room 309? Yes. And then we have HB 1396 relating to cesspools on behalf of the House, myself, co-chairs Ichiyama, Baladi, and Yamashita, and Manager Suza. And for the Senate, Gabbard is chair, Wakaya Kino is co-chairs. And same story on this one, still waiting. Shall we move it to 4.30 p.m. in room 309? Yes, and we do have Wham okay on this one, but uh, still waiting for you, Ben. Still waiting for Ben. All right, sounds good. 
Hey, there's one more. Uh, there's a Senate bill to go. Okay, and for this SB 445 SD2 HD2. Let's see here. Um, relating to pollution abatement for the Senate, Gabbard is chair, Elefante de Pino is co-chairs, Richards is manager. And on behalf of the House, myself and co-chairs, Tarnas and Cochran, manager Ward. And we do have release from WAM. How about from Finn? We have heard nothing from Finn. Okay, so we'll roll this one to 4.30 p.m. in room 309. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Uh, and that concludes. And yes, that concludes. Okay. Oh, we're ready for the 305. We're reconvening this conference committee on this Friday, April 28, 345 in room 016. Uh, we have three items on this agenda. We're going to take one item out of order. That is Senate Bill 1230 HD2, excuse me, SD2 HD1 relating to firearms. On behalf of the Senate, myself as chair, Rhodes co-chair, Elefante is a member. Thank you. On behalf of the House, we have representatives Tarnas and Yamashita as co-chairs and representatives Kitagawa and Takayama as managers. And it has been a true pleasure working with you, Representative Tarnas, on this very important bill for the safety of our public. Um, this is in response to last year's Supreme Court decision. If you don't mind, I'd like to just kind of read the highlights of this measure since it is of, of significant importance to the public. Um, members before you, the bill will prohibit firearms in certain locations and premises. It requires possession and disclosure of a license to carry prohibits leaving an unsecured firearm in a vehicle unattended, prohibits consuming or being under the influence of alcohol or an intoxicating liquor or a controlled substance when carrying a firearm, prohibits carrying or possessing firearms on certain private property open to the public without express authorization. It requires annual reports from the Department of the Attorney General on carry licenses, amends the requirements for and rev revocation of firearm permits and licenses, amends the disqualification of persons from owning, possessing, or controlling a firearm, and expands the qualified immunity for health care providers to provide information on firearms applications, applicants to include physician assistants and advanced practice registered nurses. So I think we can all be proud of uh, the work that uh, uh, we have done with uh, the help and assistance of the Attorney General. And I think, uh, I mean, it's just going to be a lot safer from us passing this. I agree. I agree. I affirm all the words that you just said. This is a very important measure, and I appreciate being able to work with you and the Attorney General's office to be able to produce this well-crafted measure. Thank you very much. If you don't mind, can I take the vote? Please do. For the Senate, I vote yes. Senator Rhodes. Aye. Senator Elefante. Aye. May I take the vote for the House? Yes, please. Co-Chair Tarnas? Aye. Co-Chair Yamashita? Aye. Member Kitagawa? Aye. And Member Takayama? Aye. Great. Thank you, members. We have a bill. Excellent. Good Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, representative. Yes. 
Det står på. Det er sådan et Ja, fordi det er Sorry, we're in recess. Thank you for your patience. We're reconvening our conference committee uh, on our 345 agenda to vote on Senate Bill 821 SD1 HD2 relating to fireworks. On behalf of the Senate, myself. Yes, sir. 821. 821 first. 821. Yes, that's how. Okay, we'll get to yours. Get to yours, Joy. Don't worry. Show her eager. And then 1527. Okay. okay. So on behalf of the Senate, myself as chair, Kidani co-chair, Elefante is only under the 1527. Yeah. Can't we do 821 first? Oh, we need Kidani. Oh, sorry. Again. Oh, that that was on on us. We don't have Kidani here. My apologies, everyone. Um, we're going to so go to the third bill on the agenda. That is Senate Bill 1527. SD2 yes. HD1 relating to yes. interest confidentiality. On behalf of the Senate, myself as chair, San Buenaventura, and you know as co-chairs, Elefante is a member. Thank you. Uh, for SB1527, we have on behalf of the House, Representatives Tarnas and Nishimoto as co-chairs, and Representatives Ichiyama and Souza as managers. Okay, and this bill uh, moves the address confidentiality program from the Lieutenant Governor's Office to the Department of Law Enforcement, and we have agreement on adding one hundred and seventy thousand dollars in both years. In both in two in both years. Each year, yes. So, uh, with that agreement, if it's okay, I'm going to take the vote. Yes, please. Uh, I vote yes, Senator Sandwood Ventura. Aye. Senator Inouye. Aye. Senator Elefante. Aye. I take the vote for the House. Yes, please. Chair Tarnas. Aye. Co-chair Nishimoto. Aye. Representative Chiyama. Aye. Representative Sutha. Aye. We have a bill. Great. Thank you. We will you. take a brief recess. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. We're reconvening our conference committee in room 016 for 355 agenda on this April 28th for SB 1332 SD1 HD2 relating to emergency management. On behalf of the Senate, myself as chair, Vidani Kocher Elefant is a member. Thank you, Chair. On behalf of the House, myself and Representative Ichi Ichiyama as Co-chairs and representatives Evelyn and Souza as managers. Okay, and enjoy working with both of you. Unfortunately, we have to roll this over till four thirty in room three hundred nine. Okay. We'll see you, ladies, there. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for your utmost patience. We're reconvening our 345 agenda for this conference committee on Senate Bill 1527 SD2 HD1 relating to address confidentiality. Um, no. 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 We're 821. We're at 821. Thank you. Just making sure that you are paying attention. Yes, 821 SD1 HD2 uh, relating to fireworks and um, we are having some troubles getting quorum, and we hope we get that quorum upstairs. So if you don't mind, uh, Chair Tonners, could we come back at, uh, not here, but in room 309 at 430? Yes, thank you. Okay, see you then. Oh, perfect.